Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Gabriel Pinder from Neolithium. How are you today, Gabriel? Oh, fantastic, Tracy. How are you? Well, certainly fantastic is the right way to start this interview discussion because the output of news since January, actually since December, has been incredible, and the news has been substantial. You made a deal with the largest uh, EV battery company in the world, CATL, prior to the holidays, and they just recently announced that they're going to increase their investment in neolithium. So how about we start there? Yes. Now, we, we have been working with um, CATL for a while. Um, they have looked at the asset. They have done a whole bunch of work. Um, as, as you know, they, they have massive plants. They, they're building plants in, um, in Germany. Uh, they're looking at Jakarta. They're looking at the U.S. Uh, they're expanding their plants in, uh, in China. And for every one of those plants, they will need more and more and more materials. So um, that's why they're talking to us about lithium. So it's a, so far, it's a, it's a good relationship that we have with them. Um, their uh, director is joining, I think, this month. Uh, our board. Um, so that's that's all fantastic news, really. Well, I'll tell you, speaking of fantastic news, YCATL selected, uh, of course, Neolithium. Uh, one of our analysts did a top seven reasons why Neolithium was one of the most exciting lithium companies in the entire world presently. So I would like to know what you, what you deem to be the most competitive reasons why an investor should be looking at neolithium. Yes, so we did. We did talk a few times about the quality of the asset. Um, we we have um, one of the lowest impurities uh, project in the market. Um, as you know, we are targeting to produce. Uh, this is a brine project. We're targeting to produce um, lithium carbonate um, as a as a main as a main product. Um, and the importance of, um, of lithium carbonate for us is that we can get there quite quickly um, in a very um, efficient way, um, utilizing <clears throat> the lowest amount of energy, saving water at the same time, um, because the, the key to the, all of this is having low impurities. When you have low impurities, you have less chemicals, less reagents to put into your uh, brine. And then you can get quicker and faster and in a more efficient way to lithium carbonate. So those are all very good news, very good reasons, really. So, of course, all of you out there who are new to the lithium sector and understanding the importance of lithium to the EV battery, you may appreciate that Neolithium was named to the 2021 OTCQX Best 50. Uh, I know you're very humble and understated, Gabriel, but can you talk to us about this and, and why you think you had such a good year last year and what we should anticipate for this year? Um, well, I think like most of junior companies, um, we our price was quite depressed. Um, we, we listed at around a dollar um, Canadian, at around a dollar to a dollar ten. And then we did a, a, cap, a, a couple of uh, capital raises. But um, during 2018 and 2019, lithium carbonate price really came down. From, from a peak of 20,000 to a very low of almost 4,000, 5,000 um, dollars. It, it was a, a question of uh, demand. Um, demand was not there yet. Um, some, of the, some of the big lithium producers anticipated the market, they expanded um, uh, production, and the, 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 the market was not ready to take it. Now what happened in um, probably the end of November and December is that the market was was able to 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 start increasing. Uh, you see battery factories everywhere popping up um, and they need to secure production. And that basically uh, Im improved the price of lithium carbonate uh, from six thousand to around ten thousand dollars in just a question of weeks. And the the the. Um, Juniors that are considered that are going to be the next uh, producers in the market, like like neo lithium, were benefited from that. So that that's our big push. Uh, actually, we notice a massive influx of U.S. investors also into into the trading. Uh, before it was mainly Canadian. We're, we're listed in the TSX, but now we see the OTCX improving a lot. So yes, we're paying a lot of attention to the U.S. 
Okay, so further to this, all of you out there who, of course, have a lot of understanding in this particular sector will appreciate your management team. You touched on how a member from CATL will be joining your board. Is that correct? Correct. And, and of course, you've got Constantine Karanopoulos on your, uh, your team. Correct. And Waldo, Waldo Perez as our CEO. Um, so he was also the founder of Lithium Americas. Um, so, so it's a it's a quite an experienced uh, group of people. I'm very lucky to be working with all of them. Uh, of course, you also, on top of everything, in addition to CATL increasing their investment in neolithium, you just closed a 30.2 million dollar bot deal financing. Would you like to talk to us about the highlights of that deal? Um, I think it was done at the right time. Um, it was, as you saw, the capital appreciation um, was significant. And we have an opportunity to get ahead of the of the game. I'll tell you, usually, Gabriel, I would now ask you what we should anticipate in the next quarter or two, but I think there's so much news for investors to take a look at that has occurred since the new year. I'd like them to go research your company, and then I'd like to invite you back for an interview to talk about what we should anticipate in 2021. I hope you'll join me for another interview here shortly. Oh, absolutely. We have a lot of news coming in a very, very short period. So, yeah, I'll be delighted to do it. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us today, Gabriel. Thank you, Tracy. See you soon.